the city show high desert sports report the victory valley's only weekly action highlights sports program covering our area's schools teams, athletes and sporting events Silverado ace Eric Neverett records a complete game win at Apple Valley for the Hawks' 12th victory in their first 13 games. Eric, was this as good as you've thrown this year? Yes, um, that was my lowest pitch count yeah. uh, all year because I've been throwing like 100, 110 pitches a game, and it just felt good. It yeah. felt good. Josh Carlos drives in what proves to be the game-winning run with a clutch two-out, two-strike single in the Hawks' three-run third. The Sun Devils' starter is Ethan Chavez, 6'1", sophomore, who starts out each of the first four Hawks. He faces with a strike, but he runs his pitch count up early, full counts to the first two Hawk hitters. His first strikeout comes with one out in the first, Ethan Chavez is one strike away from retiring the side in order in the first. Ryan Sanborn drills the two and two pitch to deep center field and off the glove of the center fielder, a stand up triple for the Hawks senior. Cleanup hitter Eric Navarrete hits the 0-2 pitch to short. It is misplayed. Brian Sanborn trots home with the first run of the game, an unearned run by way of the error. Ethan Chavez goes on to strike out three in three innings of work, giving him 15 strikeouts in 15 innings of work so far this season. Silverado adds to their run total on Joshua Carlos's two-run base hit with two outs in the third. RBIs 10 and 11 on the year for the Hawks' senior. Silverado adds one more in their half of the third to go ahead four to nothing. Apple Valley's first run comes in their half of the third. Seth Bowers' sacrifice fly scores Jake Soria, the lone Sun Devil, to collect two hits on the day. Apple Valley goes on to load the bases with one out and the heart of their lineup up. Eric Navarrete records two of his eight strikeouts on the day to squelch the rally. The cleanup hitter swinging. Eric Then the number five hitter with a full count and the bases loaded. End of three, four to one, Hawks. This game, the sixth start for the 5'10", 155 pound senior who was all Desert Sky League a year ago when he went three and four with a 245 earned run average. Sun Devils coach Jeff Bauer brings in Ryan Webster in the fourth, the 6'4", 245 pound senior, two days out of playing in the MRL versus DSL All-Stars football game in which he helped lead MRL All-Stars to an 18-17 victory. Ryan Webster strikes out one and gives up Silverado's fifth run in two and a third innings on the mound. The game's final run to be scored comes on a home run from Sun Devils sophomore Jared Gunther. It comes in the fourth, one of but five hits Eric Neverett gives up on the day. Eric. Neverett's eight strikeouts this day, highest since his first game of the year when he struck out 13 in a complete game win against Esperia. Eric Neverett's 41 strikeouts, most among all Desert Sky League pitchers at this early juncture, is 153 earned run average, lowest among DSL starters. What did you like best about the way the team played behind you? Uh, I felt good because uh, I knew that they were going to make the plays and I had confidence in them. What uh, what was working for you? Did you did you use the same approach each time to the lineup or did you change it up second time to the lineup? No, I use the same approach. Um, I have the mentality that no one's going to do yeah. the same exact thing twice, yeah. but if they do, then how's off to them. Yeah. Congratulations on the win today. Keep it going this year. Thank you. Video Sports flashback to this day in High Desert Sports history. 2017's rivalry between the Victor Valley College Rams and Barstow College Vikings. Hopefully this... Uh... <laughs>
March 16, 2013, yeah, Silverado's Christian Keys, MVP of the high school BSL seniors win. all-star game. Lady Hawk, Ebony Blacksmith, girls all-star MVP. On this date in 2012, Bianca Maikai, MVP of the small schools girls all-star game. 2019, Steve Curcio's world premiere of his Mega Monster Truck. Welcome to the Mega Monster. VBC's Wow Walk Off W against the Vikings showcases all-time hitting greats from both teams. VBC's Kyle Callahan, top hitter in the state, and Josh Gooding, Barstow's twice all-conference slugging second baseman Caleb Squire. The highlights and video sports sound bites. This Western State East Division conference contest between the Victor Valley College Rams and Barstow College Vikings lives up to its billing. Two of the highest scoring teams in the state squaring off in what nobody expects to be a pitcher's duel. The home team Rams emerge victorious, an exciting and dramatic walk-off win, in fact, after the teams had combined for a total 21 runs scored. Brandon Johnson delivers the game winner. It feels great to get another win. Uh, hopefully this... Uh... Uh, it was like opening a new bag of uh, Big League Chew. You get that fresh bubble gum, it was amazing. It was just... Heart, and it was exciting. It was a great moment. Caleb Squires sacrifice fly scores. Sean Kelson with the first run of the ball game. Caleb Squire, the returning all-conference second baseman out of Alvado, Colorado. RBI 20 on the year for Caleb Squire. Josh Gooding leads it off for the Rams, powering the towering home run over the left center field fence off Viking starter David Hodge. Home run number five on the year for Josh Gooding. The Vikings will tie it up on Dustin McNichols, base hit into left, scoring Jonah Yang from second. Dustin McNichols, 11th RBI of the year. He's a sophomore out of Los Osos in Rancho Cucamonga. Bottom of the third, Josh Burns steps into the fastball and one hops the fence in right center field for a ground rule double. Brandon Johnson to third. Josh Burns, the sophomore from Montgomery, enters this game hitting 317. Up steps Kyle Callahan, leading RBI man among Southern California community college hitters. Kyle Callahan hits it sharply through the right side. Brandon Johnson scores. Josh Burns scores. RBIs 30 and 31 on the year for the former Oak Hills Bulldog. Caleb Squire gets the Vikings offense going again with the drive over the right fielder's head, sending Sean Kelson to third. Dustin McNichols comes through again, sending Sean Kelson across with the sacrifice fly. It is 10-3. With two outs and Caleb Squire at third, it brings up Jonah Yang. Last year, almost to the day, Jonah Yang had a career day against the Rams on St. Patrick's Day here on the Rams field. Jonah Yang homered twice, won a grand slam, and drove in nine runs in Barstow's 20 to 12 thumping of BBC. Jonah Yang's base hit to left allows Caleb Squire to score easily, and the Vikings have cut the Rams' lead to six. Sean Kelson ties the score, launching the three-run home run over the left field fence. Austin Forrester and Nathan Cottrell crossing the plate before him. First home run on the year for Sean Kelson. In fact, just the fifth home run on the season for the Vikings. Could not have come at a better time. At 10-10, it's a brand new ball game. Jonathan Mason has come on for the Rams. He is facing the bottom of the Vikings batting order. The Vikings put a runner in scoring position on Kalen Kimmel, single to left, setting the plate for another opportunity for Sean Kelson Heroics. This time, Jonathan Mason wins the battle, striking out the Vikings' leadoff hitter to end the top half of the ninth. Josh Gooding's ground ball to short. The ball is dropped by the second baseman. The base umpire immediately signals safe. Vikings coach Brian King appeals to the home plate umpire who overrules the base umpire's call and Rams runner Caleb Longfellow was ruled out at second. Runners on the corners. One out 
Stage is set for Brandon Johnson, who comes in hitting 356 with 19 RBIs in 20 games. VVC runners on the corners. Brandon Johnson goes after the 1-0 pitch. Baltimore chops it high to the right side. Luis Ruiz nor Caleb Squire have any chance to stop Jared Hudson Bell from scoring from third, nor turn an inning ending double play. Um, I was just looking for a pitch I could hit. Um, something on the ground, maybe in the air so it can tag up. Um, just find my pitch, let those balls go. Um, expecting a curveball, I mean, uh, uh, expecting a fastball, uh, looking for the curveball, waiting on it, and that's just all there is. How does it feel to finally put one away on the W column? It feels great to get another win. Uh, hopefully this... Uh... Jonathan Mesa earns the victory, his third, in his 12th appearance out of the bullpen. Was there a lot of pressure out there, especially 10-10 ball game late? Well, those are moments that I like. You dream of as a little kid that you want to play in, and it was a lot of pressure. But I felt really comfortable and confident knowing my team behind me. And if I could get them in with the same score, tie tie, ten ten, then I know that they'll come big up for us like we just did right now. And it feels like a great, amazing moment. Silverado All Stars shine bright in the High Desert Classic Basketball All Star Games. Christian Keys was named the most valuable player in the Desert Sky League's overtime victory. Ebony Blacksmith led all scorers in the girls' game. Christian Keyes earned Player of the Game honors in the DSL victory over Mojave River League counterparts. Keyes goes coast to coast in overtime to score the winning basket with 40 seconds remaining in the 84-83 DSL win. Keyes finished with 18 points. Um, by this time next year, I should be at RCC, and I'm going to be playing basketball for the program. Mateo Jones led DSL scorers with 19. Jones was the winner of the three-point shootout and was in position to be a triple crown winner. He was runner-up in the slam dunk contest as well. Make sure I plan on going to college playing basketball and playing getting a great education wherever I go. Keys and Jones first team All Desert Sky League and Jones was named DSL most valuable player. Mateo Jones goes on to play at Cal State University in Monterey Bay. Ebony Blacksmith earned most valuable player honors among DSL girls for the second year in a row. In the All-Star game, Blacksmith scored 25 points to lead all scorers. March 16, 2012, Bianca Mackay named MVP of the Small Schools Girls All-Star Game. Bianca Mackay of the ACE Eagles scored 17 of her game-high 21 points in the second half to lead the North to victory and earn Most Valuable Player honors. Controversial monster truck, Mega Monster, debuted March 16, 2019. Welcome to the Mega Monster. We created the Mega Monster truck. Make America great. Monster Truck fans may see Mega Monster scheduled to perform Saturday, April 18th, 2020 at the San Bernardino County Fairgrounds in Victorville. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Sell, 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 sell. Bid fast and last, sold on supporting High Desert Sports. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville. Deagle and Don always has discount prices on appliances, mattresses, home furnishings, and electronics. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Griner Buick GMC in Victorville. Griner always has the best damn used cars, period. Iwanzik Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville. High School All-American Candace Agee of Silverado. Oak Hills State Champion Wrestler Corey Burton. Victor Valley College Slugger Josh Gooding. Headline makers on this March 17th St. Patrick's Date in High Desert Sports History.
Ladies first, back to 2012, and the St. Patrick's Day legacy of Silverado basketball icon Candace Agee at the high school seniors all-star game. Candace Agee closed out her high school career playing on her Silverado home court in the senior DSL versus MRL all-stars game. Agee's swan song was an all-out exhibition of the way she dominated the Desert Sky League the past four years. Blocked shot, runs the court, scores, and is fouled. Agee scored 10 of the DSL's 19 first quarter points on her way to a game-high 24 in the Desert Sky League's 58-43 triumph. Agee will play in the McDonald's High School All-American game the following week then, after graduation, it's on to Penn State. Chicago, uh, uh, yes, sir. Next week. yes, sir, yes, sir. Just getting ready. Got uh, one more week of training left and um, you know, go hard and get on that plane on Saturday. <laughs> Congratulations on all you've done here. Thank Keep it you. up. We look forward to watching you at Penn State. Thank you. you. The Desert Sky League took advantage of their height advantage combined with excellent passing skills, ball handling, and defense. AG rebounds leads the break, gets it back from Rodriguez, and adds two more to her point total. Here's one of the better pass attempts of the game. Oak Hill's Mary Galindo behind the back bounce pass, but she misfires on the shot attempt. Galindo exonerates herself next time down, striking from the corner. Hesperia's Kayla Shelton took home the three-point shootout trophy. Javi River League All-Stars hailed from Apple Valley, Hesperia, Oak Hills, Serrano, and Sultana, and were coached by the Sultan's Dean Service. DSL players from Barstow, Burroughs, Granite Hills, and Silverado, and were coached by the Hawks' Tyrone Brown, Barstow's Anthony Nolan, and Robert Campbell of Burroughs. In girls wrestling, Oak Hill's Corey Burton won her second straight state championship in the 189-pound class at the CIF Girls State Wrestling Championships. The Lady Bulldogs Jr. Burton has only been wrestling for three years. She started wrestling as a freshman. She won the 198-pound weight class national championship last year wrestling for Team California USA. She now has won back-to-back state titles. Rams freshman and Foothill Conference leading hitter Josh Gooding comes through with the walk-off RBI in the Rams 8-7 triumph over Barstow College. Gooding's game winner caps a come-from-behind effort for the Rams who hand the Vikings their fifth consecutive defeat. This a game with three lead changes and a number of outstanding individual performances by hitters on both teams. Rams' Chad Arton, three hits on the day. Same for the Vikings' Levi Lawrence. Cody Mudford follows with the single to center field. Corey Brooks throw just does beat the runner and Chad Arton appears to apply the swipe tag, but the umpire makes the safe call Lucas Crank scores the run, and the Vikings tie the score at one. Edgar Gallardo leads off the bottom of the ninth, winning run aboard. Corey Brooks bunts Gallardo into scoring position. Take us through the last at bat. First pitch? Yeah, first pitch, he threw an a off speed pitch outside, and you know I figured they were going to give me a heavy dose of off speed. Uh, I couldn't get it over for a strike, so that was this first pitch is huge. And then he threw another off speed, and he just left it over the plate. And just tried to put a good swing on it, and uh, lucky enough to get a barrel on it. So Josh Gooding, the game-winning walk-off RBI single. 8-7 Rams. One year later on St. Patrick's Day. Another Foothill Conference slugfest between High Desert Community College rivals. This one on St. Patrick's Day on the Victor Valley College Rams campus. Barstow College right fielder Jonah Yang has a 5-for-5 five five day hammering two home runs, won a grand slam, two doubles, and driving in nine in the Vikings' 2012 triumph at Victor Valley College. Most of the luck of the Irish would go the Vikings' way this St. Patrick's Day, the Rams providing a touch of the Irish with green bases to honor the occasion. Keegan Harmon 
earns his first win of the season. The freshman strikes out three and walks three, giving up seven runs on 12 Rams hits. The first time these teams met this season, the Vikings prevailed 2-1 to one in 11 innings. In game two of the season's four-game series, the teams combined to score 21 runs in Barstow's 13-8 win on the Vikings campus. 32 total runs will be scored this day. Nine, courtesy of the Vikings cleanup hitter, whose grand slam makes it 19-8 in the seventh. The final in this one, Barstow College, 20, Victor Valley College, 12. The Apple Valley Sun Devils take two from the Barstow Aztecs on a chilly and windswept St. Patrick's Day. Game one starter Tanner Fuller registers his fourth victory of the season without a loss. The six foot, 190 pound senior scatters three hits and gives up one run while striking out four. Jason McCall gets ahead of Joey Vera 0-2 before the hero of the day drills a chest-high fastball into center field. Joey Vera has his first run driven in of the day as the Sun Devils break the ice on a day that felt cold enough to produce ice. Were there any precipitation? Game time temperatures were right at 50 degrees, but steady winds dropped the chill factor a number of degrees colder. The Aztecs have made a pitching change. Joey Vera steps into the 1-0 pitch and drives it high, up, deep, over, and out into the desert, well beyond the left field fence. The two-run blast, the first home run of the six-foot, 185-pound junior's career, gives the Sun Devils a three-run lead, four to one. Anything in particular you're looking for up there when you got the, the home run? No, just if he threw me high, just let it fly, I guess. In his next at bat, Joey Vera contributes to a four-run sixth inning, sending a too-hot-to-handle ground ball to third that drives in Logan Valencia. Joey Vera polishes off his outstanding day's work, pitching a complete game shutout win, his second win of the season without a loss. The Sun Devils go on to win game one, eight to one, and follow with Joey Vera's four to nothing shutout win in game two. The sweep of the Aztecs improves the Sun Devils to nine and two on the year. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Sell, 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 sell. Bid fast and last, sold on supporting High Desert Sports. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville. Iwanzik Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Desert High Transportation. Reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers and by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville. Desert Sky League stars rally with a fourth quarter surge to win the annual Seniors All-Star Classic. Will Morgan of Granite Hills, his three gives the DSL an early 5-4 lead. Sultana's Darren Flagg with the jumper, cutting the DSL lead to one. Oak Hill's Daniel Davis hits the drive shot off Rob Mar Porter's assist. That had followed the Davis free throw, and the MRL takes its first lead, eight to six. Davis's power dunk, and it's a four-point lead, six minutes in. The athletic tip-in by Serrano's six-foot Denzel McCloney makes it 14-6. When the Diamondbacks' leading scorer adds two more on the break to make it 16-6, it appears the route is on. McCloney averaged 20 points and 10 boards a game for Serrano. 6-4 Rob Moore Porter appears to slam the door on any more DSL scoring the first quarter. But Silverado's Rojan Brett hits the jumper with time running out, and it's 16-8 MRL after one. Tyler Basket of Apple Valley connects to open the second. The MRL lead is back up to 10, 18-8. DSL Baskets from Malik Williams and Nam Trin launch the comeback 
and when Tyler Warren completes the three-point play, it's tied at 22 with 2.12 to play in the second. Evan Allen's three will make it 25-25. The Victor Valley sharpshooter will win the three-point shootout at halftime. Tyler Basket scores again, and the MRL regains the lead 27-25. Basket will finish with 10, seven in the second quarter. His outside shooting contributed to the Mojave River League holding a 31-29 advantage at halftime. The third quarter begins with the MRL holding a two-point lead. Rob Mar Porter adds to that with the three. Porter will be named the player of the game for the MRL stars. Approaching the midway mark of quarter three, Darren Flagg from the perimeter. Flagg will lead MRL scorers with 11. The DSL still trailed when Tyler Warren with the steal gets it back from Donovan Taylor and throws it down. DSL trails by one, 41-40, with two minutes remaining in the third. It was as if Warren said to his teammates, follow me. His tip in, ending the scoring in the third, the Desert Sky League lead, 45-42. On the defensive end, Warren with the block, gains possession to Rojan Brett, to Donovan Taylor. Warren's baseline reverse and gentle dunk. Warren follows the same path, and it's an eight-point DSL lead at 54-46. Warren goes on to earn most valuable player honors in the DSL's 64-52 victory. 13 points, 13 boards for the Hawks leader. The slam dunk contest, 6-7 Tyler Warren makes it look easy. 6-2 Hawks teammate Donovan Taylor adds a generous dose of showmanship. Sultan Rodmar Porter. Oak Hills 6-4, Daniel Davis. Small school superstar 5-6, Asher Arvinger skies with the taller guys. Serrano's six foot Denzel McCloney. Tyler Warren off the wall to the delight of dad, Darrell. And another Donovan Taylor slam. Tyler Warren caps the competition, dunking over Dad Darrell to capture the slam dunk contest trophy. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Sold, 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 sold. Bid fast and last. Sold on supporting High Desert Sports. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville. Deagle and Don always has discount prices on appliances, mattresses, home furnishings, and electronics. Valu Quality Truck Body. Family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Griner Buick GMC in Victorville. Griner always has the best damn used cars, period. <laughs> Iwanzik Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Desert High Transportation. Reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville.
This is your High Desert Sports Report. The Victory Mountains only weekly action highlights sports program covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. 